Everybody, it's me again. Guess where I am? I'm at CNI, and I'm with Dr. Mandy Benning, one of our neurosurgeons who heads up the program here. So we're going to get to know her, we're going to get to know this equipment, and we're going to get to know the entire program here. So with that, I'm going to turn over the mic to Dr. Benning. Great. Thanks for having me and the invitation to speak. We're here in our cerebrovascular neurosurgical interventional suite, which is this equipment behind us. And the importance of that is that it's state-of-the-art equipment that in, is it one of a kind in Delaware County? And it's really the epicenter of our comprehensive stroke center, which um, Crozier has just received that designation this year and is the only CSC in Delaware County. Now, that's a very unique um, designation. I think there are less than 200 in the entire country. That makes for roughly 3% of the entire acute care hospital population. This is a very unique service. So this is something that we should all be very proud of. Now, people come long distances uh, for care here. They do. So locally, I think it's really important because previously, um, you know, EMS would actually take them out of the county to Philadelphia for their stroke intervention, for aneurysm treatment, AVM treatment, um, clot removals. Um, we, patients locally can come here now. They don't have to go in the city. But not only that, we're actually a hub for multiple hospitals in three states and uh, Pennsylvania counties who actually come to us for this yes. service that we provide. Yes, not every hospital is going to have a room like this, let alone the people that can work in a room like this. So this is really special, isn't it? Yeah, yes. so, you know, if you, it's not just the equipment, it's the team, and it's everything from our transfer center that's specialized. It's one call, the hospital's call, we get the patients here, and then when the patients come, Say you're having a stroke and you have a clot that's in a vessel and the brain's not getting enough blood flow. We remove that clot in this room. And the patient is brought in by the helicopter team. They're met by our nurses, our techs, the physician, anesthesia, so that we can basically swarm the patient. We're waiting for them. And so we get them on the table and we can have that clot out in minutes. We do some very unique things in the emergency department here too, don't we? We do. So for those patients who come to Crozier as an initial hospital, um, we have the neurological emergency department where we're doing really state-of-the-art things like TPA up to nine hours, which was um, actually already proven in the EXTEND trial. But we're the only hospital that I know of uh, in the state that's doing that. And, that could be wrong, but as far as I know, it's certainly our only partner hospital that's doing that. Um, we are actually doing special imaging called CT perfusion that shows which patients are candidates for thrombectomy. The physicians down there are ED physicians, but they have extra neurological training, so they can triage and diagnose neurological emergencies really quickly. We have 3D views of the patient's blood vessels, this is called biplane angiogram, so we can look from anterior, posterior, and laterally so that we can get a 3D picture in our head of where we're navigating when we're doing the procedure. And not only is, do we have the biplane, but this is also an operating room. So say I do an angiogram, I realize a patient needs their aneurysm clipped with an open surgery. We just turn the swivel to the table. We have all our equipment here, and I can clip, open the head, clip the aneurysm, swivel back to do the angiogram to make sure it's cured right. and you know close the head well, all in this room without the moving the that's why it's called hybrid room it's very special yeah, exactly right. myself and um, three of my partners we are comprehensively trained cerebrovascular neurosurgeons which means that we did a full neurosurgical residency program for the open so for clipping aneurysms taking out avms carotid endarterectomies all the open vascular but on top of that we did an additional a training, a fellowship for endovascular and cerebrovascular neurosurgery where we can do minimally invasive techniques through the groin, through the wrist, through carotid puncture, such as stenting, coiling, gluing. So we, we can do it all. Here. State of the art. State of the this art. This is as good as it gets anywhere on the planet. Anywhere. On the planet. And when they leave here, they go to a specialized intensive care unit, right? That's exactly right. So we have a closed neurosurgical or neurological ICU. That's an, a unit where the patients are in a very... Um, in a very specialized place. So the nurses have neuro training. They're used to taking care of the neuro patients. The intensivists, we're the intensivists. So we're doing all the critical care on those patients. So we make sure that all of their neurological needs are met, but as well as you know all their systems. We're, we're taking care of the whole patient there. And then when they leave the unit, they're actually going to a specialized neuroscience unit when they're ready to step down as well. One nice thing that 
we always do is we always try to get those patients back to their community for therapy or rehab. And then our group actually has outpatient offices mm -hmm. in all of these places. So the patients don't have to come back here to be seen for their follow-ups. We'll go to, you know, uh, Bucks County. We'll go to New Jersey. You know, wherever we have outpatient offices, we'll see the patients there. Well, this is very exciting. You know, we for the last few years, we've been working awfully closely with Global Neurosciences Institute, otherwise known as GNI. We promote ourselves together. We do things together. We develop the program. And when they came in to survey us, right, not long ago, the Joint Commission came in here and said they were astounded to see how quickly we did this much in such a short period of time. To become a comprehensive stroke takes a lot of health systems, five, six, seven years. We did it in two. Yeah, that's wonderful. That's because of people like you. And this what team of really motivated people behind the glass here. I really have to do a shout out for them. God bless them. I normally close with um, Be Well, Do Good. Delco is counting on you. This week I'm going to change it up. Because patients come from such long distances, the right thing to say at this moment is Be Well, Do Good. The entire Delaware Valley is counting on us. Nice one. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for having me.